Oh, are you waiting for me to start the video? Wow, mediocre jokes right at the beginning of the video. This one's gonna be a good one, guys. You left, didn't you? Oh, I should. Probably shouldn't have. Probably shouldn't have done that. Okay. Yeah, girl. No one laughed. You played yourself. How about wearing this shirt in the video before? Yeah. So, trends. They come and go, you know? You know, I was trying to make a good segue for this video and I'm not gonna. So today we're gonna be talking about childhood trends. Yeah! And these trends are basically all the trends that happen in schools that I went to from like first grade to like ninth grade. But like just basically what was going on with the youth as somebody might say, I don't know who. Ooh, James Charles just uploaded a new video. Please hold. Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so the first trend I'm going to be talking about was in 2010, and this was like back in first grade, and back then, silly bands were really, really popular, so that's the trend for 2010, is silly bands, and silly bands, if you don't know, were basically like rubber band type bracelets that made shapes when you put them on. I don't have any silly bands. Cause um, you'd probably, you have to order them online. This video was kind of low budget. So. so since I can't afford them, enjoy this lovely picture. Of silly bands. Wow, what a trend. <laughs> okay, so the next trend is actually in 2011, obviously since we're going from 2010 to 2000, okay. But, 2011, I was in second grade, and in second grade, we actually got a lot of time to play computer games before class. There was just like three computers in the class, and everyone would like take turns playing before like school started. And we all played webkins. So we're gonna play webkins. Okay, so here we are on webkins, and I haven't played this game. I was gonna say in years, but actually, it's probably just been a couple months. I think I went back and played a few months ago because I was curious how it had changed. And from what I remember- Hello there, I'm Ms. Birdie. I run the Adoption Center here in Kidsville. Are you looking to start a new account on Webkids World? If so, let's begin. Okay. Please choose one of these free pets. If you have an adoption code, you can either skip adopting a free pet or add it after you've created your account. Okay, first of all, I was talking. Okay. For some reason, the wolf is calling me. Aww. Oh, it's cute. Okay, first of all, um, where's the gender neutral option? I'm offended. Webkins fix that immediately. Okay, so we have decided to name him Rob Ruby the Fourth. So. Okay. Congratulations! Your adoption was a success. Now it's time to meet your new pet! to the employment office, the place where you can get a job. I'm gonna stick with hamburgers. Oh wait, I'm bad at this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't like this all already. Ew, why is it that noise? Uh. Oh! Old that freaking living frig! Okay, you know what? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> so actually another trend when I was in second grade was Angry Birds, but I'm not going to play that because I think we've spent enough time on webkins. Next trend. <laughs> trend of third grade. For me, it was Minecraft. I, I think that's when I discovered Minecraft. I think Minecraft had actually been out since like 2009, but for me, I discovered it in third grade. But you've already seen me play Minecraft on my channel, so I'm not actually gonna go back and play it. 
I'm just gonna skip on to the next trend, so. Trend number four. 2013 was the Harlem Shake. I think there was like other things probably going on around, but for my fourth grade class, everyone knew the Harlem Shake. Yeah, the Harlem Shake was in and I'm not gonna do it. I was thinking about doing it, but I don't really wanna like get up and actually do it, so. Trend number five. Kind of got to open our books for this one because 2014, I wrote a lot. Not like a lot, a lot, but like most. Uh, but there were a lot of big trends, I think, in 2014. Vine came out. 2014 when Frozen came out and everyone was obsessed with Let It Go. But I think a trend that was just like really big, but... I know this one thing on YouTube took over. That particular trend was the ASL ice bucket challenge, which people like poured cold freezing water on their head for like disease. I don't remember what the disease is. Then 16, most annoying trend. Sixth grade, bottle flipping. Everyone was flipping bottles. One guy got it on like a weird like window or like sill above on the door type. It was crazy. Huh. Okay. There were bottles everywhere. Okay, like half drunken bottles of water. Just like. And then like kids start flipping highlighters. Like, you're not gonna land a highlighter. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Look at the wrist. Frig. Oh my gosh, it literally landed on the floor. Ha! Next trend, ladies. <laughs> Basically, um, slime. Slime. Just slime. All the kids loved it, though. And I sold it in seventh grade. I'm gonna make slime! Yay, slime! And people used to buy this? Y'all, don't waste your allowance. It's like kind of fun, so. Me too. Ah! It's on my jeans. <gasps> you know what? We're done. No, no, no. The minute it even tried, tried my jeans, we were done. This relationship is over. I love my jeans and I'm not, no, no, I'm not jeopardizing them. I just got them. Don't try me slime. Okay, now that we're done with that, another trend that happened a lot in 2016 was Pokemon Go. That was over the summer. My mom didn't let me play it, but now I can. I just missed the Pokemon Go wave because my mom was mean and didn't let me get it. In 2017, I was in eighth grade and chokers and fidget spinners were like the biggest trend. I didn't have a fidget spinner or a choker, so I went out and bought some chokers. I did not end up buying a fidget spinner because I did not want to bring that evil into my home. The of Christ compels you, all right? Everyone had one, and like, they annoyed the heck out of teachers. Okay, they're kind of interesting, but I mean like, I guess I get why people like, why, why, like them. Uh -huh. That's not where they go. You just got pranked. I mean, it's a choker. Fortnite. Also, the trend I'm going to do is ASMR. Now, I've already done ASMR, but we're going to do it differently than last time, so. Oh! Sorry, that's not ASMR, huh? Yeah, I really hate drinking sounds, so I'm just not going to put the rest in. And that... Is the end of our video. Good job, guys. Good job, production team. Lighting guy, you can go home. Sound guy, thank you. Yeah, that's a wrap, guys. Let's go home. But I never do an outro. Oh my gosh, I'm doing an outro. Okay, sorry. Sorry, y'all excited about my outro there.
thank you guys so much for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Give it a like if you liked it. Comment below. Okay. Oh, subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, share the video. All that good stuff that YouTubers are supposed to say. Go do something better with your life. Because you're probably supposed to be like studying or like getting ready for bed or, you know, like, I don't know, going to school or like listening in class or like whatever you're doing. You're probably supposed to be doing something else. So, um, go do that. So, uh, yeah. Bye.